Good afternoon. This video is to explain how to repair a Samsung HL61A 750A1F rear projection DLP DMD flat screen color television. Now this is the power supply and signal processor board out of that set. Uh, it's located on the left hand side uh, at the back of the chassis. You can see the tuner is here, audio video connections here, power supply lays in behind it. I have it cut loose so I can remove it and demonstrate. Now ordinarily on LCDs and other flat screen televisions, people look for the smaller low voltage or coal side filter capacitors having bubble tops, leaking electrolytic, whatever uh, being the problem. In this particular set, it was not the low side, but the high side capacitors that were at fault. Now, be aware, these capacitors uh, have lots of voltage on them. They have 150 volts each, and these two are wired in series, so you have between 350 and 400 volts on these capacitors. Very dangerous. Be sure you discharge them or allow them to discharge. There are bleeder resistors on here, but don't trust them put a resistor across them and bleed them down before you touch them or before you touch any test equipment to them. Now this small capacitor here also has got the same 150 volts on it. That's part of the standby power supply. These components in this area here are the standby. These components over here are the main power supply. So I've already repaired this unit. Uh, I'm just doing this to show you guys. I'm going to use this device here which is called an ESR tester. Uh, they're available on eBay for between $35 and $75 and they're well worth the money because uh, they'll identify absolutely a good or a bad capacitor. Now if we if we take a look at the two original capacitors that were in there you can see that the tops are slightly bulged I mean just very slightly. It's not obvious that they're bad but if we take the capacitor tester and uh, try and check them it doesn't even move the needle on either one they are absolutely open uh, checking the, the replacement capacitors you can see that the needle goes all the way to the zero and the green on both those capacitors and the smaller one over here still goes in the green now if if we look at the smaller capacitor the one that was in the standby circuit in this board you'll see that it's not quite good. It's, it's, it's in the yellow and it doesn't make the uh, cap tester beep its, its beeper. Now, these, uh, this, this board also feeds the LED low voltage supply, which is what I'm holding in my hand here. It's located on the right hand side of the chassis at the rear. And I've got it removed also. Uh, again, the low side or coal side filter capacitors, there was nothing wrong with them. This is what feeds the three high power LEDs. But over here, where the 375 to 400 volts DC comes in, there was a, another filter capacitor. And this one here is not, it's not gone yet, but it's certainly not in good shape. I suspect the reason that it's in the shape it's in is because it was trying to pick up the slack on the uh, two big capacitors that had gone bad on the other board. You can see it's just barely in the green. I wouldn't want to send this set out with this capacitor, so I've got one on order uh, from eBay. Uh, they weren't available locally at the local supply house, and I didn't have one in my stock. So there you are, folks. High voltage capacitors instead of low voltage capacitors. I hope this helps you out. Thank you.